Ritu, <laughs> Ritu was a sweet experiment. We, uh, it, it couldn't have happened without Shyam. And um, um, see, you need a very courageous director to, uh, to make something like that when he or she is in the mainstream. And uh, uh, it was 25. One of the interesting facts about Ritu is that uh, I don't know how many of you have noticed that, but Manyal um, Viranya Pukal got made uh, um, almost 35 years ago. Now, so, so when Ritu was made uh, in 2008, the movie was released in 2009. Um, it had been 25 years since Manyal Viranya Pukal had been made. And the connection between two movies is that after Manyal Viranya Pukal, I'm told that Ritu was the next movie that had an all new cast. So none of the directors, none of the writers, none, nobody in the industry was willing to take a risk of bringing in new faces, believing that the content is the king. But this is a big world. Everybody deserves a space here. So we were trying to create a new space there. And I think with Rudu we did. And uh, in whatever, in whichever, in many ways it actually more than the commercial, it, it was a success in terms of uh, um, collection was concerned. I mean, it got dubbed into Telugu, brought the producer money, and uh, it also had a satellite release, and uh, it ran in theaters for, I think, 14 days. Um, but beyond that, uh, Ritu inspired a lot of filmmakers in the industry to go ahead and do the kind of films they want to make. So in a way, it was a silent bomb. It came un unannounced through the back door and then it just created a ripple effect among people, among makers in the industry. And they started creating great works after Ritu. I mean, I would quote Premam as a watershed movie. To me, Premam is a, it launched a new school of screenplay after Rudu. So, and then we have had a lot more other movies coming and, and uh, you know, but <clears throat> I would still say that technically we are, uh, Malayalam cinema has gone ahead, far ahead in the 10 years, but uh, in terms of writing, we still lack uh, that sort of commitment, that sort of this, uh, this, this culture of exploration, this wanting to create new, instead of copying other successes, you know. So we need more writers. We need, uh, you have a brilliant ex example in Shyam uh, He created, a, he became a, I mean, that is a school by itself, I mean, Shyam's movies. So I'm sure Shyam is going to be copied more now. Uh, but instead of aping others, if we can, if, if more writers come in and create movies that are in need of times, our industry will expand. Our world will, uh, I mean, the world of storytelling will expand. So, yeah, I mean, that way we are contented with what we did with Ritu. And um, I uh, went ahead and wrote three to four other movies. They're still in my drawer. Um, like I said, you need a visionary. You need a, if I'm creating something new, I need a, a director who believes in something new. Not the people that would run after again and again after the same box office they want. Um, so I think it's a matter of uh, coming together of minds who, um, you know, who are willing to, come with me. But in a way, um, it might sound preposterous, boasting, but Arthopia is uh, way bigger than Malayalam cinema in terms of its potential I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Arthopia, the, the idea, the concept is way beyond Malayalam cinema. It, 
in fact malayalam cinema won't be able to hold it you know because it's so vast and big so so um maybe i'm not practical that way i don't know i'm i'm not thinking in terms of market and my success and all that i just channel out things that flow through me but if there are there are people who are willing to uh, come and explore the visual side of utopia then i would be more than happy but it's obviously a global production it must be because uh, it it is a it is a global canvas and you know something much bigger than what i had written before so as a writer you would be obviously thrilled that you have created something that is bigger and vaster and deeper and something that holds your truth that which you have been passionate about exploring you know if you can bring that into the work then uh, you know you would be a contented person that way so i am contented with what i am doing now no theory can satiate you satisfy you for a long time you know a theory can be helpful at, at a small junction but then if you have to keep living you need to have proofs if you have to keep living with one understanding you need to have proofs for that you need to be convinced from within and that can come only from direct experience no books can help you there so i started off uh, getting a, i mean selling off my books my library you know that <laughs> well but unfortunately or fortunately my library is now again full the books have come back in another form So it's a culture. The vasana is still with me. So that's why it's happening. March first week of anyway. March, you will get the book in hand. And yes, there will be Kindle version as well. Kindle for I mean India Kindle and the overseas Kindle. Parne wale March first week le. Let's do packing. For kala. ഫ്രീ ഡെലിവറി ആണ് പോലെ ആയിട്ടുള്ളത് വിത്ത് സിഗ്നേച്ചർ സ്മെൽ ഓഫ് ന്യൂ ബുക്ക് on the last page there is a suspense you will come to know when you get the book there is a young friend to whom i have requested to read a part of it for you no getting away from its burn chimogo was trying to stay alive she crept under a wicker basket where they used to keep the chickens but the hell kept hanging in the air swelling and smelling too bloody close she sat curled up cupping her mouth with her hands trapped between her frail hopes and a bleeding death trying to breathe without a sound it was hard to breathe like that as it was hard to quell this fright the shudder of her body the thudding of her heart her feverish eyes were red warm as screams welled up inside but chimogo hushed them pressing her tiny palm over her mouth her throat pulsed and ached with the bulge that refused to go any sound from her could bring them over she was just 6 and tiny a kitten to pick She wanted to breathe, but all around was cold smoke. She wanted to run, but weren't humans everywhere? They had come, just as her mama said they would come. In a ritual fire raised in front of her hut, a little while ago, that seemed like long ago. Shimogo saw her mama Bijoba taken. From behind the bush, the little one heard her mama's howls. They dragged her up the stone altar where they held her down and sawed through her neck. Bijoba's surprised head fell 
and rolled in the night mud, brightened by torchlight. The blood kept gushing out, as if not knowing when to stop. Chimogo, blinking and panting hard with no breath, heard a sharp chant rising in chorus from the silhouettes of men and women swaying in a cruel amber light. O oh, mother, drink her love, spit forth a million crops, they sang in joy. Ertopia happens to be an, a completely new galaxy by itself. Theo World is the basic imprint under which this series will be published. Uh, publisher is Bodhi Studios. So Bodhi Studios has an imprint, Theo World. And Theo World is publishing this series called Magical Chronicles of Ertopia. And under the series, Boy on the Blue Mountain is the first book. And there will be further titles coming under that series.